Millions are being impacted by a powerful winter storm hitting areas from eastern Pennsylvania to Massachusetts. Heavy snow and strong winds are hampering travel across the region. New York and Boston might see the most snowfall in about two years. So for more on the forecast, let's bring in meteorologist Molly McCollum from our partners at the Weather Channel. Molly, good morning. Good morning, Anne-Marie. We have our first winter storm warning in New York City and in two years. It's going to be a mess for your commute this morning into the first part of the afternoon as heavy wet snow is falling, especially in New York over to Hartford and then out towards portions like Martha's Vineyard where you're not only seeing some snow, but you're also seeing very strong winds. Here's the good news with the system. It's lifting out of the area very quickly. And by this afternoon, this evening, we don't have any more snow, but we still have the wind and that could still cause some problems. So how much snow are we talking? Seeing the biggest amounts and the highest amounts out towards portions of the Cape and down towards New York City, we could see at least half a foot of snow in some areas, depending on we see the strongest snow bands set up. Here's a look at the winds. This could cause some power outages, especially in combination with the heavy wet snow and also some coastal flooding as we see a strong onshore push of water. But even as this low pressure system moves out, we're still seeing extremely strong winds out towards areas like Nantucket, where even by this evening we're talking 30 mile per hour wind speeds that could still be causing some problems with some power outages. And speaking of some of the coastal flooding, we're going to be watching out for that today, not only with the wind speeds, but in areas that we're not seeing snow, we're seeing a lot of rain. So runoff could be a concern. And for more in-depth coverage, you can watch the Weather Channel on cable or live on your favorite TV streaming devices. Anne Marie, back to you. All right, Molly, thank you. Well, CBS News New York reporter Tony Sadeku is in Westchester County where the snow is just coming down. Oh my God. I mean, I gotta say, it looks pretty, but what does it feel like out there? Hey there, uh, guys. Yeah, it, you know, it, it does look pretty. We're kind of back to that winter wonderland look. It's a look that a lot of folks out here have been looking for for quite some time. It's been a while since we've seen a big time snowfall uh, here, not just in Westchester County, but across the tri-state. We're calling it about two years since we've seen this kind of snowfall and it's piling up. Some areas are already reporting as much as half a foot to a foot of snow. And I can tell you, so we're in Mount Kisco right now, which is about an hour north of the city and it's been snowing for hours, basically ever since we uh, drove from the city, uh, left the city about 2.30 in the morning. It's been snowing and folks have been having to navigate through this, whether they've been going on a coffee run, grabbing a bagel, trying to, you know, get some money at the ATM. And you see there some of that snow falling from the tree. I mean, this is that heavy, wet snow that, you know, always, we always are concerned about the risk for power outages in a situation like this, because you get a branch like that to fall on a power line. Uh, it's, you know, can certainly turn off the power and we've seen plow trucks just like this crisscrossing the area trying to navigate um, you know this snow and clear it out because you know they'll they'll move through and then there'll be additional snow and crews have been working the sidewalks too and uh, what I can tell you over here in Westchester County schools are closed so at least that is alleviating some of the issues that we're seeing for travelers um, but it is certainly that heavy wet snow it's the kind of snow that's packable but it's also the kind of snow that reduces visibility. I mean, you look off into the distance and it just appears that the cars just kind of fade away. And this is what for folks, anybody who's got to drive through this, they've got to take the extra time to clean off their cars, to shovel. And you see someone that looks like clearing off their car or shoveling out of uh, being stuck over there into the distance. And, and this is the picture here across the air. It's a picture we've seen for hours now. Uh, you know, it's a Tuesday, so people have places to be, uh, but we're just encouraging folks to be safe out here, you know, to, to manage the, the snow as uh, safely and quickly as possible, obviously dressing light, stretching before, because it's the kind of snow that you don't want to wait until it all piles up before you shovel it, uh, because it, it, it really, it, we call this the heart attack snow. It's a snow that, that, that can really, uh, that can really uh, become dangerous, not just for travelers, but to clear it up as well. Uh, but that's the situation right now. Uh, thankfully, it's not going to be an all-day situation. It's been raining for hours, probably a few more hours to go before we start to see things clear up this afternoon and things turn colder, which will mean another hazard into tonight. A lot of these roads are treated, but could we see more issues with any snow slush turning to ice into the overnight hours? That's another thing we'll be watching very closely, guys. Yeah, you don't want that. Uh, Tony, thank you very much.